What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to unpackage a dev file on iOS 14, no jailbreak. Now this is incredibly useful for certain themes um, just because a lot of themes, at least a lot of the cool ones are actually created for a jailbroken device and a lot of the times they will come packaged as a deb file which uh, I'm sure some of you have noticed um, are a little bit finicky to work around. So I'm gonna show you guys how I unpackage them and extract the icons and use them on my non jailbroken 12 Pro Max. So um, the first thing you guys are gonna need is a application uh, from the App Store. I use iZip, I just like it. There's a free version and a pro version. I have the pro version, you can use the free version. Literally all you gotta do is search iZip in the app store i'll probably leave an app store link in the description as well to make your guys' lives even easier uh, but you will need that application that's how we're going to uh, extract all of the files in the deb file so we're going to go ahead and jump into twitter and i'm going to show you guys how to get this theme right here i think it looks really really cool uh, i think the icons are awesome and it's free which is really nice and they are by uh, this gentleman here on Twitter, as you guys can see, his name is Rob Groman. So big shout out for the free theme. I think it looks awesome. Um, but as you can see, there's a couple of download links here in his bio. And this is Elite 8. There is also a H8 available as well. That theme looks really awesome too. So all I'm going to do is click on the link there. It takes us to Dropbox. And as you can see, it's a dot .zip. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to continue to website. And now what I'm gonna do is view it in app. So you might want Dropbox as well. Um, you could probably do this through the, the internet browser, but this is the method I like to do. Go ahead and open it here. And then we're gonna click on the three dots and I'm gonna click on export. And then I'm just gonna choose iZip from the applications there. And it's gonna export it into um, iZip as you guys can see there. Now I'm gonna say okay to unzip the files. So it's gonna go through the process of unpackaging it. And this is this is actually a deb file. So um, as you can see, there's a control, there's data. Uh, all you care about is the data. And we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna unpackage the data.tar. And now we have the file. Now we're allowed to go in here. So we'll unzip all of these files, just cl click okay. Basically, you're just running through this and unzipping everything as you go. The next section is the library. And as you can see, there is some stuff packaged up for uh, Zeppelin. And then there is themes. Now there's a bunch of different extensions. And uh, this is, like I said, mainly for jailbreak stuff. As you can see, there's Iconomatic. Uh, that's for the kind of AE effects. Uh, there's UI elements. There's a bunch of stuff that we cannot use on a non-jailbroken device. There's also the, the badges and and docs and stuff like that. So there's a bunch of stuff that we can't use. Uh, but what you're gonna do is just swipe down until you find the E8 um, icons. Now this might take a minute to find, It's I'm actually struggling right now. I believe it'd just be icons bundles, if I can find that. Maybe it was up here further. I'll be back once I locate it. Okay, it took me a second to go through all the files, but here is the icon bundles. Uh, that's basically what you want. Do take note, there are alternate icons a lot of times with these themes as well, and those are packaged up in their own separate folder. Um, and there's also, you know, other alts and stuff. So you, you might want to just kind of, uh, you know, go through this. There's even Tweetbot alts here with the with the Spidey bot, which looks really cool. If we go into bundles, as you can see, those are some of the alternate icons. So do um, poke around in here a bit and... Uh, Pretty much what you want to do is just find the icons you want but what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to move all of this so i don't mess up and lose something that i want so from here i'm just going to check on themes and then i'm going to click the little share icon at the bottom and then um it asks you've moved uh you've selected multiple files do you want to compress them uh, in order to move this you do so i'll click on yes and I'm going to do a zip with no password. So I'm basically zipping this back up. And I'll just name it um, E8. And I'll say new because I already have it in my file system. So I'll click on OK. And now it's going to zip up all those files. And we're going to go ahead and close out of the share sheet. We're going to select on the new zip. We're going to click on share. 
and we're gonna wanna save this to our files. Now I've covered this a lot. I have a folder in my iCloud Drive dedicated to themes. As you guys can see, I have a boatload of themes at this point. I've been collecting these uh, since early fall, I would say, right around after iOS 14 was released, I've been uh, messing with themes. So I have a ton. And the way I did it, and the way that I find it to be very functional, is I like to use iCloud Drive. And reason being is because then it's in the, in the cloud and I can access it from any other device at any time. If I ever get rid of this iPhone and get the newer one, I will still have access to all of these themes. Of course, I know some of you will not have the iCloud Drive space. If you don't, you can do it on your iPhone. Just know that it's literally on just your iPhone. But I have a themes folder, so I'm gonna save it to that. So now it's saved it to our files. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my files here. And we're gonna go into my themes folder and we're gonna look for the new zip. So there it is right there. Now I'm just gonna click on it to extract it. Give it a minute to extract. It is extracting a lot of content. And it looks like it unpackaged it as themes. So from here, I'm gonna immediately rename it. As you guys can see, I have everything very well organized in here. So we're gonna do this again as, I'll just leave it capital, it doesn't really matter, E8, uh, new. Okay, so we have it renamed, I know where it is. At this point, you can delete the zip, that's all we needed it for. And then here is E8 new. And as you can see, you have a bunch of subfolders in the folder, and it's basically all of those extensions like I showed you. Uh, at this point, what I would do is I would just go through and delete the folders that you don't need, like, um, AE effects or badges or docs or anything like that and just keep the icons and a real easy way to do that is you can select on the three dots up there do select so that's an iconomatic that's an alt that's another iconomatic and if you don't know what it is maybe just leave it but iconomatic is a, a icon effect so I'm just gonna delete all of these out of here they're useless unless you have a jailbroken device and now we're on to badges. As you guys can see, I'm keeping the alt icons and the icon bundles. Um, settings icons, we don't need those. Clock hands, uh, dock, we don't need that. Dock, I'm gonna go through and just uh, edit all of this and delete them all out. So I'll be back as soon as I'm done. Okay, I've cleaned up the file system a little bit with a bunch of junk that we can't use. Well, it's not junk, it's actually really nice stuff, but we just can't use it on uh, a non-jailbroken device. And I've kept a lot of the alternate icons. Um, as you can see, there's like icons calendar dark. If you go in here, um, you can see this is the dark calendar. So there is a lot of alternate icons in this pack. Every pack is going to be set up a little bit different, but it's the same core fundamental uh, that it's going to be a bunch of folders set up. Um, in kind of a directory format. And uh, you just need to go through and pick and choose uh, what you need. I usually like to go through, and it's very time consuming, but I like to, like for the alt icons, I would go in here and I would copy all of these and then move all of those into the regular icon bundles. Same as with uh, some of the other alt icons. I kept these dynamic walls because I wasn't sure if it's a wall that I could use. It doesn't look like it. So those would probably get deleted. I just didn't want to delete those in case it was like a cool wallpaper or something that I could possibly use. But if we go into icon bundles, you can see there are the icon bundles and you go in here and here are all of the icons. Now, for example, I'm just going to customize one to show you guys how it works or how I like to do it. And this is on iOS 14.5 beta. Um, it's going to be the same method for 14.4, I believe. But if you guys are on older 14.3, um, you can use like icon board. It'll help speed you up. But I like to use... Uh, shortcuts. It does take a little time to set up, but once you've set it up, it does work fine. So we're going to do add action, scripting, open app. I'm going to choose the app. I guess we'll just pick something at random like Adidas. We're going to click the three dots, add to home screen, choose the icon, choose from files. And then I am in my ones that I set up yesterday. So we're going to go out and then we're just going to find E8 new. So there it is right there. We can go in there. We can go to icon bundles, go into the bundles. And I'll just choose a icon at random just to show that it is working. I guess we could just do, oh, I don't know. Um, sure, things or whatever. 
I'm going to clear the name so that the app icon has no name. I'm going to click add, click done. And now you can cancel and delete the shortcut. You don't need it created in order to have a custom icon. And as you can see, there is the custom icon. And when I launch it, it will open up the Adidas app. <clears throat> and surprisingly, I have the shortcut set up for Adidas. I guess I didn't realize to do that. So I didn't get a notification or a banner or anything. I do have that set up in shortcuts as well. But as you can see, there is the custom icon. All of the files are available in my files. And like I said, I could do a little bit more OCD cleanup with it to make it a little bit more nice. Um, another thing to note is the name of the applications are the bundle uh, bundle IDs of the application. So the names might not make sense for what the application is. Um, so you just kind of got to kind of look through it over time. You will learn what the actual icon bundles are for applications. And at that point you can just search for it if you know the bundle ID, but that's how you're going to install basically a jailbreak theme. That's a dev file onto a non jailbroken device and use the icons with the shortcuts application. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.